Hello everyone, uh, this again is Pierce Calloway and I'm bringing you more of God's Word and more fitness together in one video. Like, share, subscribe if any of this helps you. I can't say that enough guys. You can help me help you. So first, to start out, I want to share God's Word right now from 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 30 and and again you don't have to use the exact translations that I am guys um, but I prefer some kind of study version that I personally read from but when I give certain translations um, like like this, I'll take from like the New Living Translation or sometimes the NIV. But a study Bible is what I do encourage for all of us to have. So something like an NAS, an ESV, um, New King James, which is much easier than uh, than the newer or than the, than the old version of the King James, much easier to understand and and interpret. But the New Living Translation just seems to it hits you with words that everybody, no matter how uh, how elementary your understanding is of the Bible or whether you've been a Christian for fifty plus years, the New Living Translation really does, in my opinion, still hit the truth, but it hits you with words that anybody, anybody from ages 8 to 80 can understand. And that is very important, guys, as long as it's not taking away from the truth of the actual scripture and what it was supposed to be saying to you and for your daily living. So, guys, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 30 from the New Living Translation says, If I must boast, I would rather boast about the things that show how weak I am. Guys, in other words, what's that, <coughs> what's that saying is, according to God's word, according to God's voice, to become Christ-like is what he wants in every living, breathing human being. My life needs to become Christ-like. So you will hear those terms, Christ-like. If I'm constantly boasting about myself and drawing attention towards myself, then I'm not uplifting Jesus Christ and I'm not being Christ-like. I'm not treating the situation, I'm not living daily like Jesus Christ would. That's what those Christ-like characteristics guys, will, will show in someone's life. It will show you, hey, if someone else is looking at my life and I'm trying to be Christ-like, that means my actions will be, will, again, will show what Jesus Christ's examples in Scripture did. In other words, you're just, remember that whole, whole cliche thing of WWJD, what would Jesus do? That really does sum all of it up, guys. But I can't conquer and I can't do what Jesus would do in any given circumstance if I'm boasting about myself. So it's much, much better so that I can show or be used to display the power and the magnificence and, and just the awe and reverence and respect people should be giving Jesus Christ daily. My life is supposed to exemplify that, people. 
everything you see that I do, speak, or, or, or act, or, or do, whatever faith I show you, is supposed to be Christ-like. And that's with all Christians across the board. No matter if you're a day-old Christian to, again, a 50-year-old Christian. It doesn't matter. Make sure our actions and everything exemplify a Christ-like example from his word or, again, something he asked you to do from his actual direct voice. So, people, again, remember, do not boast about the things that you are good about. It is much better, like we just learned, to boast and to share with others all of the ways that you're weak, all the ways that allow God to make you stronger and to make you more Christ-like every single day. So, tell people about your struggles. Tell people, for lack of better words, what you suck at. The, the stuff that you, that you struggle with. The sin in your life. All of those weaknesses that you have in your life, God can use to not only strengthen you, but strengthen, remember, the faith of other people. Everything you and I go through as Christians, and I believe as a non-Christian, everything a human being goes through, I truly believe that you can see the handprint of the Creator, of Jesus Christ and His Father. You can see right now His handprints on even a non-Christian person's life. Everybody, guys, he created us all. He knows the hairs on our head. He knows us all so well. So please, back to my point, make sure your daily life is not boasting about what you think you're good at. Do not build your kingdom, but Boast about the stuff that doesn't give you favor. Boast about the stuff that you are weak at. Boast about the stuff that you need help with. All of that will help others see, hey, he definitely is in need of Jesus Christ's help. So guys, please, please pray about everything I just shared with you and take from it everything that God wants you to take from that. Do not believe every word that comes out of my mouth until you, one, ask Jesus Christ personally if it's from Him or glorifies Him, and then see if you can find it in the Bible. Now, I just read directly from the Bible, so you can see right there Already, I'm not taking it out of something that I'm doing myself or words that I've created, guys. I'm trying to, again, be Christ-like in all things. So please help me with that. I welcome your comments. I welcome your godly correction. And let's get through daily life glorifying Jesus Christ, because that's, that's really all we're here for, guys. Okay. Now for the fitness part, what I'd like to show you. I call these power jacks. And power jacks is just, again, a way that I'm making a regular routine jumping jack much harder. Something that you can actually gain strength from. Because not many people can gain strength from just a regular jumping jack. No matter how much no matter how much you weigh, no matter how much you do it, it's one of those exercises that most of our bodies right now, unless you make it more difficult, which is what I'm doing today, a jumping jack is a routine that anyone, anyone right now can master. That's why I'm showing you a way so that you can still 
gain strength from a very simple exercise. So guys, a normal jumping jack looks like this. I start here with hands on my hips. I make sure my ears, shoulders, and hips are all aligned. You can see, guys, I'm starting like this. Everything's straight right now. That means my core is engaged. And a jumping jack is just here. My hands on a normal jumping jack go behind my ears. Do not, on a jumping jack, do not put them out here. That will strain your upper and middle back. That will also hurt your shoulders. Any movement that causes your shoulders to come forward is not good. So here is a regular jumping jack. Hips and there. My hands are behind my ears at all time. I do not bring them out in front of me. So here. And now to make these more difficult, we add weight. Do not add a weight that will stop you from completing the entire jumping jack. So we're here. At the hips I'm starting with, and guys, I'm there. The weight stays behind my ears. And guys, there are several ways. There's a couple more ways that I can show you to continue to make a jumping jack even more difficult. And that's what I want to teach you for the most part are daily exercises like all the exercises you see in my videos. Some are much harder than others, but this one is a very easy exercise everyone can do, which is why I'm showing you a progression of it or a way to make it more difficult so that you can gain strength from even the easiest of exercises. So guys, please like, subscribe, share this with people who you want to teach. I don't care if you make yourself look good, guys. I'm here just again to show you Jesus and to help you with fitness so you can stay healthy. So again, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for your time, and I'll keep producing the videos, but give me some comments, give me some feedback, because it helps me to understand what it is you want to hear about. Thank you guys.